Okay, so in these, we're combining substitution uh, while thinking critically about the order of operations. And this is from the CK12 book on algebra. In the first one, we're told what J and K are, the values 6 and 12. And if you look at the formula, it's J, K, which means J times K, over J plus K. And here in this formula, it's almost implied that these two are in parentheses. I know we said division before addition. Um, but really, these are grouped together almost in, in an invisible set of parentheses. So in fact, this is 72, or 6 times 12, over 18, 6 plus 12. And if you know, uh, I believe that 18 goes into 72 four times. So this is just equal to 4. And in the next one, we're told that x is 1 and y is 5, and we're plugging it into, into 2y squared. So we don't even need to know what x is here. There is no x. And 2y squared, this is a common mistake, it's not 25 squared, right? When you put this 5 here and the 2 here, you're multiplying them, and you're squaring the y first. So this exponent applies to the, directly to that variable. And this is uh, 2 times 5 squared, which is 2 times 25, or 50. And the next one, here we have 3x squared plus 2x plus 1, and x is 5. So now same principle here, when we plug in the 5, it's 3 times 5 squared. And the 5 squared is going to come first. And that's going to be 3 times 25, or 75, plus 2 times 5, plus 1, so that's 10. And this is 1. So we add these up and we get 86. In the next one, it's y squared minus x and then in parentheses squared. Now x is 2 and y is 1. If we plug this in we get 1 squared minus 2 squared. So we want to deal with the parentheses first and that's 1 squared which is 1 minus 2 negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1 because negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then last but not least, let me clear this off we have this equation which got cut off. It says x, x squared plus y squared over y minus x. And x is 2 and y is 3. So that's really 2 squared or 4 plus 3 squared or 9 over y minus x, 3 minus 2. And again, these two are grouped together in the denominator. So treat them as if they're in parentheses. Same thing up here. So this really becomes... 13 divided by 1, which is just 13. Alright, hope that helped.